Today I'm doing one of Pokemon's most painful challenges. Whatever Pokemon card hit I get from the new Scarlet and Violet set, I have to transfer that Pokemon in my Pokemon Go account. And there are some sick cards to pull, like Gyarados and Arcanine. So I grabbed 36 sleeve packs of Scarlet and Violet and stuffed them all into here, this Evolving Skies, but these are, these are Scarlet and Violet packs. 36, one full booster box worth. So we're gonna open up each pack, and again, any hit inside of these, we're gonna have to transfer in Pokemon Go. And we've had some really painful transfers in the past. Three cards. Oh wait, no, it's one card. Oh god, forget the card trick here. Okay, but well, we have pack one pain. Supa, Spirit Tomb. Thank god. Second pack. God, I'm nervous. We have transferred in the past in these challenges. Shiny Charizards, shiny Rock Ruffs. One card to the front, and a lot of other really big ones and good ones. And honestly, I'm running out of Pokemon to transfer my Pokemon Go account. So hopefully we don't get too many hits today. Oh my god. And you're probably wondering, well, listen, there are cards that exist in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that do not yet exist in Pokemon Go. So what happens if we pull one of those brand new Pokemon that have not been released yet in Go? Well, we're basically going to go and transfer the most comparable Pokemon card, yes, or most comparable Pokemon uh, that we can get out of my account. So if there's like, you know, one of the new legendaries that we pull, we can go in and transfer a legendary Pokemon that is maybe like dragon-like or kind of lizard-like, maybe a Rayquaza for my personal Pokemon Go account. So, oh, so that's how we're going to work this transfer challenge today and all other transfer challenges that feature cards and Pokemon that, well, just aren't out in Pokemon Go yet. All right, Clauncher, Dolive, Quaxley. So far, so good. No hits yet. No, we got a hit. I had to say something. A big Don Donzo. Now, what do we think of when we think of this big fish Pokemon, but in like Pokemon Go? I'll search water. And honestly, I think Wailord, man. And I have some Wailord now. Hold on. Let me evolve. It's 400 candies. Let me evolve a Wailmer because this guy is technically not shiny. There he is, our big juicy sacrifice. Uh, save me. And we're going to go on our Wailord in my account. And that will be the first transfer of the video today. These videos are always weird because uh, unlike usually when you're opening up packs of Pokemon cards, you're kind of praying, praying for like no hits or like no cool secret rares or no legendary Pokemon. So energy switch graveyard, da -dun -so, which is always kind of a weird feeling. So as long as we can avoid some of the cooler cards, like, I mean, as much as I want to find that Gyarados and that Arcanine card in this set, that would probably be my worst nightmare because I don't know if I keep many non-shiny Gyarados or Arcanine. Nine, and we're gonna have to transfer a shiny. It's Starly, oh, the next one up. Now, luckily for me, I should have a Starly. Oh, they're all shiny, I only have shiny Starly, what? No, dude, okay, well, the first shiny of the day today is this guy right here, a brand new, a new-ish, 2022, a shiny Starly in Pokemon Go, that sucks. God, no. What's gonna make this challenge in this video extremely hard is the fact that Scarlet and Violet, now, these packs technically are more expensive than previous years, but it's because Pokemon has wanted to make cards, I guess, more fun, more exciting to open. So basically the hit rates are higher, there's more cool cards to pull. And, oh my god. And nowadays, every single pack has like two reverse hollows and at least a holographic, which is ridiculous compared to the older sets. Which is why it is hits only for the transfer challenge, otherwise we'd transfer my entire Pokemon Go account if it was reverse hollows and hits. But so far, so good with only one shiny transfer. I mean, we're, we just started the video. This is... This is gonna be a painful one. <laughs> Sandal, we got Greedent, we've got a Hypno Energy. Thank God. Cool, this is good. Yeah, this is good, I like this. Let's just keep not getting hits, keep not transferring shinies. Life is good, things are easy, I'm okay. We got Torkoal, Breloom, Krokorok, Magnemite, yes! I've never cheered so hard for bad hits <laughs> than in these videos. But Scarlet and Violet, I mean, this set definitely surprises you if you're not looking for hits. And DD. Yes. Or maybe not. Maybe I grabbed literally the worst, uh, the worst blister packs out of the entire box. So, <laughs> let's hope that that's the case. Weasel, Sandaconda, don't make me transfer. Thank you. Next pack will give us a yes. We might actually survive this transfer challenge. I, I remember doing this challenge with Hidden Fates. That was an absolute mistake. So, no shinies in this set, I don't think. We got Team Star Grunt. Since this is still technically a hit, I will dip into my shiny Pokemon graveyard and transfer a random one. We'll transfer a random shiny Snivy. We'll sacrifice this to the gods. Ow! And as I'm sure you saw, there were like, I mean, literally, I've got hundreds of other packs of Scarlet and Violet and of other sets as well. All these packs are going to be opened up uh, and ripped open over on whatnot. So, oh, no way! What? Oh my god, we actually pulled them right on EX! Dude, there's no shot! 
bro! This is one of the most valuable, most expensive cards in the entire set. It's the Maridon EX Alternate Art. I opened up 500 packs of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I did not get this card. And we're finally getting it today during the transfer challenge. Oh no, okay, well we're gonna search Legendary in Pokemon Go. And what is like, what it looks like a Maridon? I mean, honestly, a Rayquaza does. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer out a Rayquaza Oh God, but it's fine because I'm told that's totally worth it to get the alternate art Maridon EX. I will most likely be grading this card and actually probably after it's done being graded, giving it away over on whatnot as well. So if you want to get any of this stuff really, in the description, that is incredible. Oh my God, I can't believe we actually just packed the alternate art Maridon. I mean, really, there's only a couple cards that are more expensive than that. Um, and there's the Coridon alternate art in this set. And there's also the Miriam alternate art trainer card. And that is, I mean, the big hit that everyone's looking for. Slow bro, nest ball, nice. But I mean, if we end up getting any full art trainer cards, I'm transferring a shiny. So I, I guess we want anything but that. The full art alternate art Pokemon cards sound a little bit nicer. Okay, or maybe no hits at all, you know? No hits for the rest of the box? How about that, how's that sound? Personally, I'd be super down with that. Fido, small if, all right. It's working, we have manifested the bad packs. Again, the only time I'll ever root for bad pulls <laughs> out of a Pokemon card box, which is funny, because actually for another YouTube video, I just opened up a Fusion Strike God box. So that's funny to go into this one. It's funny going into this box and praying for the exact opposite of what we just got. Dude, if we did the Shiny Transfer Challenge out of that God box I opened up, I mean, I, I would be, I'd be in actual tears. It'd be the worst challenge ever. So this is a little bit nicer. Yes. Also, pull rates, I mean, I thought they would be a lot better, honestly, and I was, I guess I was kind of confusing this with Crown Zenith, which we didn't do a shiny transfer or a Pokemon transfer challenge with. Thank God for that. Iron Shred ZX. This is a Dawn fan. Okay, so wait, would I look fan P? Oh, we have a couple of fan P. Oh, I have a ton of Dawn fan. Okay, we've got this one. I have, you know what? I've got a Lucky. This is the most recent Dawn fan. It's a Lucky. It's high IVs. Let's transfer this one out. This is a really good one. God, ouch. Okay, th thank God we didn't end up doing Crown Zenith Transfer Challenge, right? Because that set, that set was really good and there were hits in every single pack in that. Electric, Growlithe, okay. But as you can see in this set, it is uh, a little bit different <laughs> with Scarlet and Violet. There's some hits sprinkled in there, but it's not all hits, thank God. Next pack, inside, we will have Jack, Slowpoke, Youngster, <laughs> God, no! Gardevoir, which we do have uh, several of. Is this one good? This one's a 98 from 2019. Oh boy. What about this Routes? It's not shiny. It's a hundo. How about this 2019 Curlia? Okay. Let's evolve the 2019. This is a really old Pokemon card. Pokemon. 2019 Curlia. Truthfully, I should save this and trade it as a part of like a trade challenge just because Gardevoir is really good in Pokemon Go. And because this is a 2019, it probably has a higher likelihood of being a lucky. But honestly, Screw it. 1745, 2019 Gardevoir. Let's transfer this out. This is pretty cool, man. Not gonna lie. Oh, dang it. Oh, all right. Well, I guess now the pain is starting to set in a little bit. I guess the nice thing about this challenge, though, again, is the likelihood of us having to transfer shiny is pretty low, unless we get a full art trainer or a Pokemon that we have only shinies of, which I think we're gonna be okay here. It's also funny because I know you as the viewer are definitely not on my side, <laughs> whereas the more painful transfer is absolutely the more amusing one, so. Just know you and I, we're not on the same team here. Tropius, crook it up. No, dude! Full art Maraid on EX, we're getting such good pulls. All right, we'll search and back up with legendaries. We'll grab this really pretty high IV Rayquaza in Pokemon Go and give it a transfer. Goodbye, my friend. God, no XL candy. I mean, dude, I I'm glad that we're not transferring shinies, man, but the Rayquaza transfers are painful. Also, dude, out of these, like, handful of packs, we're getting a lot of pretty insane hits. I'm actually surprised. Don't get me wrong, we got a lot of super cool things from the 500 pack opening, so if you haven't checked that one out, that is on my channel right now, and that was really fun. It was a great look into uh, Scarlet and Violet, into the pull rates, into what kind of cool cards you could find, and we definitely found some really cool cards. But we're hitting Maridon right now like no one's business. We did not get that lucky in the 500 packs, which again, it's hilarious that it's happening now. But honestly, so far, so good. I'm not, uh, I'm not super mad with the amount of things we've had to transfer. Only a couple shinies so far. We got Flittle, oh, Bombardier, and then a Reveroom. This Pokemon reminds me of like, reminds me of kind of like a Swanna. Do I have a Swanna? Okay, I've got one Ducklet and one Swanna in Pokemon Go. The, okay, we've got a 2020 Swanna. 
This makes sense. Um, it's, it's like very the same bird. Okay, my one and only Swana in the account. Goodbye. Ooh, XL candy. Down to the last six packs here. We can absolutely escape without having to transfer anything too insane, but I don't know, dude. <laughs> These packs are hitting kind of hard right now. I'm a little bit nervous. Flabebe, Marie, thank God. All we have to do is just avoid getting any sort of full arch trainer card because that would absolutely bring us down on the overall shiny count, which, I mean, I'm fine with not having to, to completely destroy. We got a Palmot, Breloom. No, Baynet EX. Oh, this one might hurt, man. I don't know how many Baynets I have. Baynet, okay, we've got... I've got this 1910 Bayonet, which, oh, I guess I've never Mega Evolved. It's uh, from 2017. Oh my God, that's such an OG one. Or I've got this Shuppet from 2020, which is a Hundo, or this shiny Bayonet, which I've Mega Evolved. Wait, we have a Shadow Shuppet from 2021. The IVs are kind of bad. Let's do this. Boom, there he is, our sacrifice. Then we're gonna take the 471 CP Shadow Bayonet, which is honestly super duper sick, and give it a transfer. Okay, four packs to go. Anything can happen here. Really just hoping that we <laughs> we escape without just no more trainers. Grimer, Jean, Flora, Flora, Silly Cobra, Growlithe. Dude, no, another hit. Okay, but this is Oinkle Oink, so it's a pig. What is like a pig Pokemon? What about a Spoink? Okay, I only have shiny Spoink. Hold on, hold on. Or a Tepig. Tepig works too. Tepig? I only have shiny Tepig. Okay, well, I guess I guess this 14 CP shiny Tepig is gonna have to get the axe turned into bacon here. A level, wait, a level one shiny, this is so cool. Okay, whatever, we're getting rid of it. No, 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 no. Sacrifice this one, the 486 CP. At least it's not a level one shiny. All right, IVs are terrible. Okay, shiny Tepig, we got the oink oink is dead, no. All right, last three packs. I mean, surely we should be able to escape with that hit in three packs. I mean, we definitely, we have, it has happened. I'm absolutely speaking a major hit into existence right now, just talking. Tropius, Drift, Loon, they got. Next pack, come on, man, we can, we can get out of here, bro. I believe. Stay away, good card, stay away. Come back in another video. Fire, Switch, Tropius, Esparatha, Penny. No, a Cluncher and a King Gambit. I guess the hard thing too about these packs is the fact that you could get two hits in one pack. All right, do I have any Cluncher? Do I have any Cluncher? Oh, I I have one Cluncher. It is a 13 CP from 2021. Wow, that guy's old. Okay, did I, where did I catch this? In LA? Well, he's dead. Level one Cluncher has been crushed. And here it is, the final pack, of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The brand new set, which has... I mean, annihilated me today. Honestly, you know what? It hasn't been that bad. We didn't get the Gyarados, we didn't get the Arcanine yet, and we didn't have to transfer too many shiny Pokemon, which I like. Pachirisu, Picnic, Graveyard, Beach Court, and nice! Ending without a transfer. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the other ones on screen. Thank you very much for watching. GG's to the shinies who died today.